What's up guys? So it's Saturday. I just laid in the bed for I think three hours and did not move, but I was awake. I just stared at the wall. Reeling over all the things I need to be doing with my life. I'm one of those people that I like have obsessive thoughts. So like I'll get in loops and things in my brain and I have to like get myself out of the loop, you know? So I'll just be saying the same thing basically over and over again in my brain until I break the cycle of that. And lots of ways that I get past that is normally I do something that makes me feel good. Like, you know, like I've, t I've mentioned, like going for a walk or cleaning up my house or, you know, maybe washing my face, doing a mask, like do something to care for myself, go get my nails done, something like that, you know, like something that like makes me feel like treasured in love. I'm just not feeling good about myself today. I think that's the main, main thing that's bugging me is I just don't feel good about myself. Thing is, I know I'm an awesome person. It's just some days it's hard to really believe that. Um, I just felt like filming this because I, I honestly don't know what else to do right now. I'm just so, feel so weird, you know? It's just hard. Life is hard, guys. Um, I, and I'm gonna try and make my day better. Yeah. Good morning, guys. <laughs> um, just wanna say I have rested. And I feel much better today. <laughs> I'm about to go take a soak out in this like seven degree weather. Woo! And um, I'm going to be working from home for the pet clinic, I believe, just for a little bit. And there she is. She's waiting. She's like, come on, mom, gotta go. <laughs> You're so silly. I don't know where my hat went. Really need a hat. We can all have husky fur and just be warm. We're going. Okay. She's gonna be live. <laughs> so I got halfway around the block and I, I just can't do it, guys. We're gonna go to the park and just put her on the long lead again so she can run around. <laughs> it's too cold. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> All right, let's try this again, shall we? Good sit. Hey, girl. <laughs> My cheeks are stinging. Come on, Ahsoka. Let's go. I just need like, need pants that'll keep me warm because I can't feel my legs. I always try to remember to like roll, keep my shoulders back, you know, down and relaxed because like it is so easy walking in like in cold weather to just be like hunched like this and just walking like this. <laughs> let me show you, hold up. I think you guys know what I'm talking about, but let me show you. Back down, come on. A lot, I feel like a lot of people in the cold um, walk like this. Dum dee dum dee dum 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 dum. <laughs> you better walk, girl. He always takes over my show, you know. <laughs> That's my husky when she sees snow, you know, even if it's just a little pile like that. So now every time I'm about to put her in the car, she grabs a stick. And is like, no, mom, I don't want to go in the car. I want to play with stick. I don't know why I just gave her a Cartman voice. Get in the car. Get in the car. Up. Okay. So I'm back. Um, 
I'm about to start working for the pet clinic I work for. I'm gonna work from home. They need, they need, they need some last minute help. So I'm gonna help them out and um, hopefully record some of my phone conversations. I don't normally do it because I just forget to record because I'm so like, you know, focused on my work that I forget to actually hit the record button. So I'll try to do that this time around, okay? Hi, this is Sarah. Just going to check in on Milo, see how Milo's doing. Um, if you'd like to give us a call back and give us an update, you can do so. Uh, or if he's just doing fine and you don't see a reason to call back, totally fine. We just always like to follow up and make sure our patients are doing okay. I'll call in to follow up and see how Mochi's doing. Sorry, sorry you said she's she, basically the same, but no, not any worse. I knew URI symptoms can take some time to um you know come down from well if anything I'll, I'll let the doctor know and if anything comes up in the in the meantime um you have any concerns or anything at all uh give us a call okay <laughs> okay great oh uh, yeah we just like to check in yeah all right no problem thanks bye mm-hmm Um, unfortunately, we're at capacity for walk-ins today, uh, but I can suggest some other places uh, you could take her today or if uh, we'll have availability tomorrow if, um, if you'd like to come see us tomorrow. So tomorrow, um, if, if you go onto our website after midnight tonight, uh, you can find um, times for tomorrow. Uh, we have daily availability. No, we're fully uh, at capacity, unfortunately. Thank you. Have a good one. working from home, um, taking her out. I don't know what else I'm doing this evening. Might just be mellowing out, you know? You know, talking to so many owners on the phone, it's just like, kind of just drains you of your energy, like having to be very supportive and caring. And not that those aren't natural things that come for me, they are. It's just, it, 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 takes a lot out of you. So. All right, so I just got back from walking Ahsoka. I'm gonna take a shower and prepare for bed. It's around nine o'clock, so that's when I'm planning to like do that, to set that routine. So I could sleep like, you know, full amount. Planning to get up at 445. God help me. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to set this routine. I didn't get to really do it this past week because I was waiting on test results since I was around my brother and he had COVID. I'm negative so I can return back to work and you start this routine. So I'll show you guys kind of what I'm going to do to prepare. So I am ready in the morning to go. Um, I'm going to lay out my clothes but first I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> So now I'm all clean, I'm showered, feeling good, ready for bed. But um, one thing I'm gonna do before I go to bed is just put out all of my clothes for tomorrow. Um, something I remembered recently about like the last time I got into an early morning workout routine is something that's very helpful is to put your clothes out the night before. So, you know, you already have that step done. You don't have like that uh, you can't, you, you don't give yourself permission to make an excuse of, oh, I got to get my clothes on and I got to do that. No, they're all laid out for you. They're there. Just put them on, go out the door. And I totally like completely forgot about how that was something I did that really helped me to maintain a routine. Eventually it was just like secondhand nature. I just would have it out and I wouldn't, I didn't even think about it so much that I just forgot about it. But it was something I did, especially in the beginning, so that I make sure to get that habit going 
So I laid on my workout clothes and I have my scrubs for the pet clinic afterward. So I'll have an easy transition from this to that. I know it's gonna make me feel so good to just have all that done before I even start my day. Um, I remember when I was working out in the morning, I would think more clearly throughout the day. I was more energized throughout the day and my body was just like stronger and felt more prepared for the day, you know? So lots of good things ahead. Definitely preparing um, just ensures more that you're setting yourself up for success. I will see you guys in the morning. I hope you have a good night, day, wherever you are at, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. What's up, guys? So I am awake. I'm putting my socks on, shoes on. I have to get this workout in. Um, I'm surprisingly, like, fairly awake right now, so it's raining outside. It's, like, pouring. So I'm not looking forward to getting this workout, but all is well happy that I'm up and I'm doing this and I'm almost completely dressed so good things So that uh, weightlifting workout was great. I did a little bit of yoga beforehand. I feel really energized right now. It is still raining, cats and dogs, but I'm gonna put these guys on and uh, take my dog out. See how long I last out there. <laughs> mm. That's all we're today. So I did not last very long. It is, the word would be torrential downpour. <laughs> I'm gonna dry you off. <laughs> Kind of a rush to get out of the house. I'm definitely in my scrubs though, like it's it's on. Actually, I actually feel really positive about starting my day and going to work, so it's good. Not that I wouldn't feel positive because I work with the most amazing people ever. Like it seriously is a job that I keep because of the people that I work with. Guys, I'm here. I'm at my job. I'm about to go clock in. It's been good. You know, I feel like I've shown kind of like a little bit of like me going through just going through the process of like feeling different things on different days. And, um, you know, some days you don't feel so good. Some days you feel more inspired. You feel better. And that those it's okay to feel all those things. And it's okay to you know, sometimes sit with those emotions and let them take their course, you know? Saturday, I was feeling down, feeling anxious, feeling just bleh. And then Sunday, I got my shit together. You know, I think a part of, you know, Sunday making me feel better was um, I made sure on Saturday, even when I was feeling down, like that I did a lot of things to make me feel good about waking up on Sunday. So I made sure to shower before I went to bed. I um, cleaned up the house, I did all the dishes, um, just took out the trash, like did all those little things that were just like, I gotta get these things done. The day I wake up, I felt, I didn't feel like I had all those things to do, so I um, felt better. And I was able to make some mental space for other things, like preparing for the week. I feel even better, because I've like, I'm starting to execute some of the things that I prepared on Sunday. So it's, you know, you really kind of saw me going through a process of like getting it back together, like recentering myself, if you will. That being said, I'm going to head to my job. It's good talking to you guys always. I love you guys. Um, like, subscribe. Um, 
appreciate all of your support as always. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget, every Wednesday I'm posting. Make sure to tune in. Bye guys. So how do you think we did, girl?